We're in Luke chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Now, I blow through these names, Caesar and Quirinius, because we've never had one of those. But is anybody feeling, oh my goodness... And you would be, are you Caesar or are you Quirinius? I'm Quirinius. Oh, well, hello there. This is a first. Welcome to the story. Good to have you with us. And everyone went to his own town to register. You're good at this, by the way. You're a good Quirinius. Look at that. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David. Any Josephs in the room? Oh, look at this. Look out. We've got one coming up. Look at him. I'm jealous of you. I can't grow a beard like that. That's incredible. At your age, that's amazing. So Joseph went there to register with Mary. Are you a Mary? Hi, Mary. Good to have you here. My name's my actual name today. Oh, yeah? But you're going to be Mary tonight? Perfect. Any more? Mary! Mary! Quite contrary. Come on up. It's the Trinity of Marys. <laughs> Joseph? I don't know about this. I don't know. Oh... So we went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in, in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now I see a baby right there. Is there another baby Jesus out there? We have room for more. No, you're Quirinius. <laughs> Be quiet, Quirinius. You've had your 15 minutes of fame, all right? All right, Quirinius. Stay here, though. You're still, you're, still, you're still in charge, man. So there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Shepherds? I see a lot of shepherds. Wait a minute. Every shepherd needs a sheep. You're taking one for the team tonight, aren't you? Good job, good job. Look at that. We've got a couple sheep and a whole lot of shepherds. I love it. And we have one of our worship leaders, Tim Brooks, up here. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. I know we have a lot of angels in this church. Nice. Awesome. And so, an angel of the Lord appeared. Two angels of the Lord appeared. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were, speaking of the, of the shepherds, the shepherds were terrified. Show me terrified, shepherds. Oh, oh. Shake in your boots. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. That will be for all people. For today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. 
Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God. This is us. We're the great heavenly host of the angel, all right? So you all can stand up for just a moment. And if you know this verbatim, you can say it with me. And the great heavenly host proclaimed, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Thank you. You can be seated. So when the angels had left and gone into heaven, you don't have to leave though, angels. I don't want the angels to leave, so stay here. When they left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that's happened, which the Lord has told us about. Yeah. You want to check it out, don't you? Well, you're already there. You're, you're, the, you're the man with the beard, Joseph. So they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. Okay, Mary, Joseph, and the baby, go around the manger now, okay? And then shepherds and angels and sheep, you all get around on either side of them. This is our live nativity. <laughs> Does somebody, is that on somebody's phone, or is somebody making that sound? That's an incredible sheep. When they had seen him, they had spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at the sh what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured this all up and pondered these things in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for the things that they'd heard and seen, which were just as they were told. But we're going to continue, and you all can stay right up here, because we have more of the cast, I believe, coming. We're going to go over to Matthew chapter 2. Now, this didn't happen the same night, or the same morning, or the same day. Maybe not even the same year. But in Matthew 2, we read the rest of the story. Because after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod... Any King Herods? We have a King Herod? Oh, we have one still? All right. Oh, you're King Herod. Oh, you're dangerous, man. I like your sword, though. You got black on? It's perfect. Good job. So during the time of King Herod, Magi, those are the wise men from the east, came to Jerusalem. Do we have the wise men? We have a wise man. Do we have any more men? Just one wise man. I know I do, yeah. All right. So a wise man from the east. Thank you for coming from the east. You actually came from the west, I believe, was where you live. Over in, in yeah, okay. And the wise man asked, where is the one who's been born king of the Jews? I saw his star in the east. See what I have to do? I have to change. I saw his star. Not we. It's one guy, right? I saw his star in the east, and we've come to worship I've, him. I've so when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed in all Jerusalem with him. When he called together all the peoples, all the chief priests and the teachers of the law, he asked them, where is this Christ? And where is he to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea. They replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, and by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Then Herod, you're still on, Herod. you got a big part in this. Herod called the Magi, the one wise guy, secretly. And he found out from him the exact time the star had appeared. He sent him to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search of the child. And as soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that he'd seen in the east went ahead of him until it stopped over the place where the child was born. And when he saw the star, he was overjoyed. The one wise man was overjoyed. On coming to the house, he saw the child with his mother Mary. He bowed down, and he worshipped him. 
Then he opened treasures, presented him the gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And on having been warned in, a, warned in a dream to not go back to Herod, he returned to his country by another route. Merry Christmas. <laughs>